Welcome everyone to History Gone Wilder, part of Have History Will Travel. I am your host, the Wilder Historian, and in this video I wanted to highlight an incredibly important document in American history. Senators, congressmen, Supreme Court justices, and presidents have cited George Washington's letter to the Jewish community of Newport, Rhode Island. When Washington visited Rhode Island, he was met with multiple groups of people and they delivered letters of welcome. In the letter from the Jewish community, they wondered if religious toleration would be welcomed in this new nation. A few days later, Washington penned his response to the Jewish community, and it reads as follows. Gentlemen, while I received with much satisfaction your address replete with expressions of esteem, I rejoice in the opportunity of assuring you that I shall always retain grateful remembrance of the cordial welcome I experienced on my visit to Newport from all classes of citizens. The reflection on the days of difficulty and danger which are past is rendered the more sweet from a consciousness that they were succeeded by days of uncommon prosperity and security. If we have wisdom to make the best use of the advantages with which we are now favored, we cannot fail, under the just administration of a good government, to become a great and happy people. The citizens of the United States of America have a right to applaud themselves for having given mankind examples of an enlarged and liberal policy, a policy worthy of imitation. All possess alike liberty of consciousness and immunities of citizenship. It is now no more that toleration is spoken of as if it were the indulgence of one class of people that another enjoy the exercise of their inherent natural rights, for happily the government of the United States, which gives to bigotry no sanction, to persecution no assistance, requires only that they who live under its protection should demean themselves as good citizens in giving it on all occasions their effectual support. It would be inconsistent with the frankness of my character not to avow that I am pleased with your favorable opinion of my administration and fervent wishes for my felicity. May the children of the stock of Abraham who dwell in this land continue to merit and enjoy the good will of the other inhabitants, while every one shall sit in safety under his own vine and fig tree, and there shall be none to make him afraid. May the Father of all mercies scatter light and not darkness upon our paths, and make us all in our several vocations useful here, and in his own due time and way everlastingly happy. George Washington. In this beautifully worded letter, he let the Jewish community of Newport, Rhode Island, and all across the United States know that their religious liberty would not be infringed upon, that no matter the religious beliefs or non-beliefs, as he said, every one shall sit in safety under his own vine and fig tree, they shall not be harmed by the government of the United States. The importance of this letter cannot be overstated. The first president of the United States under the Constitution determined that this country would be a place of peace for its citizens as long as they demean themselves as good citizens in giving it on all occasions their effectual support. Although acts of violence against certain religious and non-religious groups occurred in the colonial period and after this letter was written, one can always look back at this letter as the symbol of the mentality upon which this country was created. 